Welcome back to another video on Vedic Astrology. In this video, I am going to talk to you about the importance of conjunctions, how serious the conjunctions are in your horoscope. So, in many horoscopes, you might find that the conjunctions are wrapped. The meaning of wrapped conjunction is uh, both the planets will be right on the same longitude. You get uh, in your computer horoscope, if you see, you will find two, pl two planets exactly on the same day. That is rapt conjunction. A rapt conjunction can alter the complete meaning of a particular combination. By using an example, let's find out the serious nature of conjunctions and rapt conjunctions, how they turn the tables. This person was born on 30th May 1962 and uh, you can see the descendant is uh, here. So, usually it's marked like this in the South Indian chart. So, you find that the sun is on a rapt conjunction with the ascendant. So the fourth lord in the uh, first house, which has given him his own house. Whereas, uh, when we come to the ninth house, we find Saturn in the ninth. A very good combination to have for all those people born in the Taurus ascendant because the ninth lord sits in the ninth and Saturn is called the Yoga Karaka, the planet par excellence, because he is zoning the ninth and the tenth together and to have Saturn in the ninth house is extraordinary. So, but if you look at this uh, alone as uh, Saturn in the ninth, it is extraordinary luck. But if you introduce another planet Ketu again, exactly at the 18th degree, rap conjunction with Saturn, the whole thing dramatically changes. Now it is no longer luck; it is actually bad luck, despite having the ninth lord in the ninth. How do we understand these type of conjunctions in our house? The easiest way to understand conjunction is to imagine the situation in real life. For example, I will equate this type of uh, a conjunction to, uh, let's say, a scene, I mean, a movie like uh, the Olympus has, uh, Olympus has Fallen, in which you will find uh, that the White House is attacked by terrorists. Before the attack, let's say the president is inside the White House, it's very good for the country because he is at work and trying to save the country uh, because he is right in the White House and doing his administrative jobs. It's very good. So that's how you look at Saturn in the ninth house as the ninth lord for Taurus ascendant. And then you, you let the attacker come in, the terrorist come in. Now the whole thing changes. It's not just the terrorists have attacked the White House, but the president is also inside. Now, we actually wish the president was not inside the White House. And to understand this example very well, I think you will be, you will have to really watch that movie so that you never forget this case study. So here, uh, in this horoscope, we would say that I now wish that Saturn was not in the ninth house, it was elsewhere. This person has been com complaining about bad luck all through his life and has always been struggling with regard to income, luck, uh, career and so on. So, if you want to really understand uh, planetary conjunctions, you will have to first read as though the, there was no conjunction and then find out what is the result and then introduce the conjunction and then say it's a completely the opposite result of what should have been good. Thank you so much for watching this video and until my next video, goodbye.